there isn't even a choice. Once you get hooked on seeing the truth, the mind can't go back to sleep. Because I invent, transform, create, and destroy for a living, and when I don't like something about the world, I change it. Rick sees Jerry's passiveness as a failure to live. Because to Rick, being alive means exercising agency and confronting danger. To live is to risk it all. Otherwise, you're just an inert chunk of randomly assembled molecules drifting wherever the universe blows you. Uh. For awake to reality, you should be uncomfortable. Because our existence is precarious and terrifying. So refusing to be suckered in by comforting falsehood puts you at odds with a society and a universe that incessantly encourages us to be universe meat. In light of all this, is it even worth going to the trouble of thinking deeply about existence and trying to cultivate a well-rounded intelligence? What makes Rick tick? Sometimes science is more art than science, Morty. Maybe there's very little reward for general intelligence, but understanding yields intrinsic rewards. And really, to a Rick, with the idea that getting comfortable is a bad thing. I think it's helped a lot of people get comfortable and stop panicking, which is a state of mind we value in the animals we eat, but not something I want for myself. I'm not a cow. It is valuable to the wider world. We need independent, unconventional thinkers if we don't want to become a society of sheep. Think for yourselves, don't be sheep. This is. I think you have to think ahead and live in the moment. In season three, Beth comes to realize she's just like her dad. And you are very smart because you're very much my daughter. Oh, God. She's exceptionally smart and maybe not that nice. I feel like I've spent my life pretending you're a great guy and trying to be like you. And the ugly truth has always been that I'm not that great a guy and you're exactly like me. But is there really any inherent link between being smart and antisocial? Does unmatched intelligence lead to being an unfeeling sociopath? Listen, I'm not the nicest guy in the universe because I'm the smartest, and being nice is something stupid people do to hedge their bets. Evil Morty appears to be far more intelligent than other Mortys. You can even argue that only smart people can be evil, if you assume that evil implies awareness of the consequences of your acts and people of low intelligence lack that. Let me ask you a question real quick. Does evil exist? And if so, can one detect and measure it? Um. Rhetorical question, Morty. The answer is yes, you just have to be a genius. Ultimately, though, Rick and Morty, and the evidence in our world, don't back up any connection between being smart and uncaring. In fact, studies have shown a positive correlation between smarts and empathy. If you're intelligent, you're more likely to engage in pro-social behavior. As the children of smart Rick like Beth and dumb but sweet Jerry, Morty and Summer are a union of smarts and feeling. The two kids are an optimistic take on how intelligence and empathy can go together. Rick uses the mantra that nothing matters like a shrug that comes off as defensive, a denial of the complementary truth that, however insignificant they may be to the universe, certain things matter very much to human beings. To quote Nietzsche, what is done from love always takes place beyond good and evil. And while there may be a lot of disagreement around the concepts of good and evil, even Rick can't deny that love makes his world turn, however irrational that may be.